Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. While the murdered out look has thankfully come and gone, giving that black smoked out look to the lights on your Mustang, it's been a popular modification for years and still looks great today. Over the years, there's been several different ways to do this, from plastic snap on covers to paint to, in my opinion, the best way to do it, which is going to be with vinyl. Using smoked vinyl is nice because it's temporary. You can put it on, it'll last for years, but if you don't like the look, it's very simple to remove. We offer smoked vinyl kits here at CJ's for your 1999 through 2016 Mustang. Today we're going to show you how to install it using our 2015 EcoBoost. This vinyl tint kit is specifically cut out to fit all of the lights, markers, and reflectors on your 2015 Mustang. This kit is specific to the 50th anniversary appearance package because of the difference in the taillights. So this is going to fit your 50th anniversary appearance package, which is available on the base or premium GT or EcoBoost Mustang. This is a 21 piece kit, it comes with everything you need. As far as the tools go for this installation, I would suggest a heat gun and then picking up one of these kits available here at CJ Pony Parts. This is going to give you a nice quality water bottle, a microfiber, but most importantly, it's going to give you this squeegee with a felt tip, which should be very important in getting the creases out of the vinyl without damaging them. Before we begin the installation, you'll need some application of fluid. What that is, is 32 ounces of water and then four good sized drops of dishwasher soap. Put that in there, we're gonna use this. You'll also need a second bottle of just water. Like I said, if you have a heat gun, it'll make the installation a lot easier as well. We're gonna start with our backup light. The first thing you wanna do, take your application fluid, and basically you wanna liberally soak the whole area. You really can't use too much. Now what you wanna do is remove the tint for the third brake light and then do the same thing on the sticky side and soak it with fluid. And basically you want to get it in place. It will fit around the edges, so you want to basically get it as centered as possible. Once you have it centered, hold down in the middle with your thumb. And now you want to use a lot of water to get rid of some of the soap. As you do this, you'll actually feel it start to set up a little bit and stick. I'm going to basically lightly go over it. It stays right where you want it. I'm going to start going over it lightly with our heat gun. You don't need a crazy high temperature on this. Now, as you go over with the heat gun, you'll notice it starts setting up. You might see some little bumps known as fingers across the bottom and sides. Don't worry about those for now. Concentrate on the middle. Okay, the middle's pretty set up. We're going to use our felt tip squeegee to sort of work in some of these side pieces here. Once you work them in, you can come back a little bit of heat again. We're going to move on to the rear reflectors. The kit includes tint for both the reflectors above your exhaust tips and the ones on the side as well. We'll move on to those next. Again, same process. Let's just find the edges, line them up. You definitely give yourself some time for this installation. It is time consuming to do it right, but it'll look good in the end. You know the reflectors are good, you'll actually start seeing the lettering on the reflectors coming through the vinyl. That's when you know you've got it seated properly. And that looks good, move on to the side markers. And just be careful, on certain tint, driver's side and passenger side are specific.
Trying to get the fingers and creases out of it. Always work from the middle outward. Again, just like the rear reflectors, once you start seeing the lettering coming through the vinyl, you know you have it done properly. Okay, now we're going to move on to the taillights. The taillights are going to be one of the harder ones to do because you're working with a couple different curves. Basically, you're working up here, and then this is going to curve slightly over the edge here as well. So they are a little more difficult to do. Uh, you want to make sure you grab the correct side. It's easy to tell. The more rounder one is going to go to the outside. We're going to start with this one, then work our way inward. Okay, when putting this on, you want to basically start by worrying about getting this curve right in here. So you usually put the curved part in, then work the rest of it on. Like I said before, these are a very, very specific fit. And the exact same process for the other two. Can okay, I repeat the process on the other side? We're going to move on to the third brake light. The third brake light can be a little tricky on the fastback. The verbal is actually a lot easier. It's not necessarily hard to do, it's just kind of hard to reach. When you look at the paper, there are two versions. You have the convertible version here, which will go on your trunk lid, and then the high mount version here for the fastback. The nice thing about this one though, it's almost impossible to get bubbles in this one unless you really crease it badly. It's so thin and so flat, it's not bad to do. Start on one side and get it seated and just sort of work your way across. You might want to stand back and look at it, make sure it is covering everything up. This one, honestly, just a couple passes with the heat gun, probably all you need. Moving forward, we're going to do the lights that are located in the mirror. This is only going to be on the premium car, so if you have a base model, you can skip this step here. Again, they are labeled as driver and passenger, are unique. Make sure you grab the right one.
This one seems easy, but it's very small and it is, again, a very accurate cut. So you gotta get it all the way down the groove here or it'll be too long. Now moving to the front end. Things up here actually get a little bit trickier. You got your marker light here, which has one curve, it's not too bad. The fog light, which is one big curve, this one's a little bit tricky. And the headlight, which in my opinion is the hardest one, we're gonna save that one for last. Start with the marker light. Again, they are side specific. Make sure you grab the right one. Mark light will go up under the bumper cover slightly, so start from the bottom. And I'll come right down to the edge. Once the top's good, now we can work the edge under. Get a few creases and some fingers, just work them down as well. The crease right here in the middle is gonna be the worst one, so basically work around that. Get rid of the rest of them first, and do that one last. Now in the case of the fog light, we are putting a flat piece of tint on a round item. So it is going to get a lot of fingers around the outside edges. This one you'll just have to take your time getting them out. Now start at the bottom, you have to work your way basically around the trim over the fog light. Make sure you get it completely behind it. You do, all the edges will be behind the plastic trim. Now we'll spray some water in here. Start in the middle. You want to get it basically to adhere right here first. So we use a little bit of heat to get it started. I'm going to start working out the fingers out to the edges here. Like I said, you will get a lot. Don't worry about it. They will go away. This is where we're working out with this. Sometimes it is easier to just use your fingers to get some of these out. Just don't apply too much heat. You'll be all right. Now the last one we're gonna do is the headlight. Again, like everything else, make sure it's as clean as possible. You don't want any bug guts or any road grime or anything on here, because anything underneath the vinyl is gonna stick through it when you're finished. The headlight has a bunch of curves to it. So I kinda of wanna get it somewhat centered and work off the front here. That in place, get the top line, Good. Make sure the corner back here lines up. The bottom edge is going to sit right on your bumper cover. That's fine because it will curve under once we heat it up a little bit.
I know a lot of you are probably worried about light output by adding the tint. As you can see, you still get plenty of output from the headlights, fog lights, and marker lights. As you can see too, the tail lights are plenty bright, the driver's side is tinted, the passenger side is still stock. The LEDs are plenty bright, you hit the brakes, you barely even notice them. The complete front and rear lighting tint kit for your 2015 Mustang with the 50th anniversary package is a great way to add a nice custom look to the car. Best of all, like I said, it's not permanent. If you ever said you don't like the smoke that look, it's easy enough to remove. The installation is a little bit tedious. I'd say give yourself about four to six hours for the entire kit. You'll be back on the road in no time.